Hello guys, I'm Tom Razor and welcome back to this wonderful tutorial on how to correctly render in After Effects. So there are basically two ways of doing this. One is via via the uh, render queue. This would be the usual one that you're using for big stuff. But if you have a small video like above uh, four or five minutes, then that's nothing you should do with the render queue because that's actually really extensive rendering and yeah as you can see here basically what you should do is f go to file and export small things via the Adobe Media Encoder this might take a while to open so um, yeah This is basically a program that comes with that After Effects kind of. It's not really, <laughs> it's not really merged together or something, but you can buy it in the whole Adobe Creative Cloud package, and it's a really useless program. So you can convert things. It's really useful and helpful. Um, normally, what I do is I have the render settings like this. So, um, high bitrate and yeah, it's normal H264 uh, codec, so it's MP4. <laughs> yeah, that's basically for small projects and videos. Um, if you have something a bit more extensive, let me search up something. Uh, I know it looks short, but it's an intro for a DJ and it is really render extensive. So um, if you're rendering something like this, I would recommend using the render queue. And how to do that, it's the following. Just click on the main composition, which in my case is comp1. Go to export, add to render queue. And the basic settings are like this. You will put it out as uh, yeah as a AVI raw movie so I know what you guys are thinking this is absolutely ridiculous why should I render it like that well the thing is if you render it in uncompressed AVI the render time is minimalized this is the smallest render time that you can possibly get if you do it like that of course lossless but you can also go to H264 doesn't really matter but I prefer AVI because I'm using uh, you know like uh, another program to render it in the mp4 codec so um, yeah leave everything like it is you can just change the audio settings but I have the best ones already 4800 kilo hertz um, also best settings you can just change the frame rate or whatever you want I wouldn't really do that um, you can choose the full resolution half quarter third it's just like uh, you know the render settings in the preview um, yeah that's it but not really just go back click on 8 BPC and change it to 60 bits per channel click OK now you wanna press uh, caps lock what that will do is you will not be able to see anything of the video anymore but that means that your render time is being lowered because normally After Effects shows you a thumbnail for every frame it's generating but not to not doing that would mean that you have less render time this is actually what you should do if you render big compositions. If you like this tutorial then feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter for updates. So that's it for today's video, hope you enjoyed it and if you have any requests or questions on this tutorial leave it down in the comments below. See you next week.